right, so we're now in the iLook 360 booth here at the Long Beach International Motorcycle Show, and we're with Eric Tobias, and we're looking at another safety-related product, but this time it's, it's another rear-view helmet, but this time it's a little different approach. What we're looking at here now is a camera with an eyepiece. We're looking at a powered... That's right, it's like a personal electronic rear-view vision system. It's completely independent of the helmet. It's got a near-to-eye micro viewer that's designed to go in your, inside your helmet, behind your windscreen, or on the outside of a beanie helmet. And uh, it's held on with uh, super magnets, and it's designed to be worn just above your right brow so that you can focus on it even though it's so close to your eye. And what you see in the viewer is a wide-angle, 170-degree view of what's directly behind you. And uh, the signal basically from a cam behind you comes from this unit, which just attaches with super magnets to the back of your helmet. And you have no blind spots. It's just a complete panoramic view. Uh, so, so this is not helmet specific. It's not like it fits this helmet, this helmet, this helmet. This is a uh, universal. That's right. It goes on any, uh, any type of helmet, either a full wrap helmet like this, or it can also fit on like a beanie helmet. Uh, this mount here is just a clip that uh, mounts on like so. Uh, just mount the mounting plate onto the back of the helmet and then this holds, holds on with strong men. And how long is this going to take to put onto a helmet? If I have a regular full face helmet... Uh, a few minutes. I mean, it depends. Each helmet's a little bit different shape, so you have to fill with it and get the viewer in the right place that you like it. Like this viewer, this mount here can go up and down 15 millimeters. You want it right above your eyes so you can see below the viewer. So it's just like you're wearing a, uh, a rear view mirror like in your car, but it's attached to you all the time. So you turn your head, you're going to be able to scan behind you. So it's not going to interfere with forward vision, which That's is right. critical on a motorcycle is forward vision. That's right. It's meant to be in your peripheral vision, though. So unlike you having to try to you know, consciously look down at a mirror, you're trying to catch something coming up from behind you in your peripheral vision and, and then be able to glance up at it. Uh, it has a 1,200 milliamp hour lithium ion polymer battery in the back, and then uh, it lasts about six to eight hours. Little micro USB charger port over here. It's built to be weather uh, resistant. You can have driving rain, it's going to be tight, uh, very impact resistant, very robust, uh, very light. It's about 100 grams total. So if you wear it on a hat, or a, a bicycle helmet, you won't notice it. So when I'm not riding on my, when I don't have it attached to my motorcycle, I could pull it off right. and use it on exactly. my bicycle helmet. That's right. so that same mounting plate can attach either with an adhesive mounting pad that's included or these micro Velcro straps. And again, it's just held on there. You can also put it on the top of a helmet because this, the cam can rotate. So if you have it on top, so really it doesn't matter the shape of the helmet. I'm not going to get stuck because I have a weird curve or a weird vent. So long as I can mount it somewhere where it can look backwards, I could point the camera wherever I need to go. We took a lot of uh, time designing the mounts so that to, to be as universal as possible. We're probably going about 95% of the helmets or more. We haven't found a helmet that we could not mount it on so far. So when you said it's the, 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 the uh, micro USB, USB connector, so basically it's like uh, charging a cell phone, correct? Right. Exactly. And uh, it comes with that charger as well as uh, the USB cable can be disconnected. You can put it into a computer or any other type of USB charger. And how long does it take to charge the battery full from, from uh, about dead? About 80% in, in, in less than an hour, but for a full charge, probably a few hours. So, so but if I'm riding, if, we do a, if I'm doing a, a, a you know, 600-mile ride, and I stop for lunch, and I can plug it into something, I probably got the rest of my ride covered. Bike has a USB port, or if you have an extra battery pack, it's, it's, uh, you should be able to charge. So you, can't, you can externally power this as well at running. the same time while it's running? That's right, exactly. And obviously, the, 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 what everybody's going to ask is, no matter how cool they think it is, the next question is going to be, how much is it? $199. So it's $199. It fits anything. And all the mounts come with it as far as mounting right. to whatever? We, we include one of every type of mount. And you can buy extra mounts. Like, let's say you have five helmets. Yeah. Then you can put on your snowboard helmet, your hats, and all this. You know, you can just buy extra mounts. So you just stick it on, pull it off with the magnets, put it back on. That's awesome. That's a great, it's a great safety feature. And, we, and uh, so where can they actually buy these? Is it available at retailers? Uh, www.ilook360.com or right here at the show.
Absolutely. You have, if you aren't at the Long Beach Motorcycle Show, the Progressive International Motorcycle Show, you don't know what you're missing because we're having a great time here. You can tell we get to play with all the cool stuffs because if you're any even partially geek like myself, I'm more than part, you're going to want one of these. Trust me on this one. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. That was great.